What's up everybody? It's Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. So if you're into improving your mental and emotional well-being, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. All right, and for all of you loyal Rewired soldiers out there, you're like, hey, background looks a little bit different. Yes, my beautiful girlfriend Tristan, my son and I, we are out of town for the holiday week. All right, so switching things up, brought my camera so I could still provide you guys with some content. But anyways, let me jump into this. I uh, don't know how long this video will be, so let's see. So anyways, um, this started out, I noticed uh, I was getting an influ uh, influx of Prim Inc. audience members coming over, leaving me some hate comments, and I was like, huh, that's weird. So usually that means one of a few things. One, either Prim Inc. made a new video about me, uh, Two, the algorithm is pushing his video out so a bunch of people are seeing it. Or three, somebody else made a video about me and yeah, just a bunch of people are starting to come over. But anyways, it ended up, uh, I, think it's, I think it's number two, maybe the YouTube algorithm is showing him some love, pushing his content out. But anyways, usually when this happens, uh, I'm just like curious and I, I search. I'm like, did anybody make a new video on the rewired soul? Let me see. And even though I try not to watch them, I just like to see what's going on. Um, and I saw that Leafy Greens made a video three or four days ago, and I was like, uh-oh, what is this, right? But um, I forgot the exact title, but it said like an update about the Rewired Soul drama um, and something about an apology. I'm like, okay, I'll check it out. It was about 30 minutes long. I'll link her video down in the description below if you want to talk about it. Um, the long and short of it, uh, she discussed being off her medications, uh, being pregnant, just a lot of different factors and like, it's it's such a great video and I highly recommend everybody go check it out. Um, I'm actually gonna go check out some of her other recent content and see it. But anyways, I wanted to share some of my own personal experience with this, um, talk a little bit about what's going on uh, between her and I and the mental health community and the channel and everything like that. But anyways, uh, the first thing is, first things first, like I never, ever, ever, ever hated Leafy Greens. There's not really anybody I hate at all. But uh, anyways, uh, I appreciate, I appreciate her video. I appreciate her, you know, her humility, um, being willing and open to discuss, you know, what a lot of us are like when we're off our meds. And, you know, this is one of the reasons, um, you know, I never hated her. Like, I've made videos about this recently where, you know, when other people are affecting us, you know, to remember that we're dealing with sick people, right? Like I'm sick. I'm a very sick person, which I'll talk about in a second. Uh, but but yeah, like um, working in addiction treatment, I worked with thousands of people who were, you know, suffering from the same or different sicknesses as me. And some people, you know, it's a spiritual sickness, whatever it is, right? So I do my best to try to empathize and understand that. But obviously, you know, Leafy Greens has been very open and she has a channel about her own mental health journey and everything like that. So like, I'm like aware, I'm like, okay, this isn't, this doesn't mean she's a bad person, right? She has stuff going on, like me, like, and watching her video, it just reminds me of, my my own issues right so something that's tricky for all of us in this mental health community mental health genre here on youtube it's not just even youtube mental health bloggers writers everything like that there's so many of us who are not licensed professionals talking about this and it has its pros and cons right like one of the reasons um i was good at my job at the rehab center was because i've been through it right not only have i had my own struggles with mental health issues and trauma uh and my addiction all that stuff but it gave me the ability to connect with people you know, in the treatment center and now you guys, my audience, on that level of like, listen, I've been there and I get it, right? So that's one of the benefits, but one of the drawbacks is we're not, you know, licensed professionals. And that's something I'm currently pursuing and everything, um, you know, like I'm almost done with my certified alcohol and drug counselor training. My overall goal is to get a PhD in psychology, uh, but that's that's a whole financial issue with, uh, <laughs> cause y'all know how expensive college is. But anyways, so all of us um, who are mental health channels, like 
we get into this conundrum, right? Because we're sharing from our own personal experience. We share about a lot of the stuff that we go through and we're not all the way well. And um, like, First off, when it comes to medications, uh, some of you have seen my videos, you know, I've made videos about being on my medication, getting off my medication, the process I go through with talking to my doctors and everything like that, and I'm currently back on my medications. I have been for a few months now. But yeah, when I'm off my medications, I can act like a crazy person, right? Like, whenever I'm working with my doctor to wean off my medications, one of the first things I do is I tell Tristan, my girlfriend, I say, hey, if I start acting different, let me know, all right? Because Leafy Greens did a great job talking about this in her video too, like we're, we're struggling with a, a problem up here. So like when we're acting up, it's hard for us to be self-aware about it, right? Because our mind is convincing us that everything's justified. So, you know, um, Leafy Greens being back on her meds and even she talks about missing her meds the other day, um, it gave her some of that awareness, right? And we're able to sit back and be like, whoa. So I, uh, you know, I was on my medications the whole time, but like for me, it's a combination of different things. Like, yes, I can act really different when I'm off my medications. Uh-oh, I'm not really gonna be editing much, so sorry about that, that siren. Um, but even though I wasn't off my medications that whole time, like, uh, like Leafy Greens, like any other mental health channel out there, like I'm just another guy. Like I'm another guy going through my own struggles. I have, you know, some more experience in my recovery than some people or just working in a treatment center. Um, I'm a big nerd when it comes to mental health and psychology and philosophy and all these other things. And I try to, you know, discuss the things I've learned on this channel and I try to learn from others. I'll touch, a, touch on that again in a second too. But anyways, like one of the, one of my biggest issues is my ego. Like in uh, in recovery and a lot of 12-step programs, some of you who are familiar with 12-step programs, you know this. Like they talk about how when you're you're in the meeting outside, you know, your addiction is out there doing push-ups, right? So we always gotta be aware. Whenever I hear that, what I think of is my own ego. My ego is my number one enemy. My ego will lead me to a relapse. My ego will lead me to being crazy on my own mental health channel, all these things, like my ego is my biggest problem and it's something that I'm constantly working on. So I made that video a few weeks ago about like how I wasted the last six months of my life and a lot of it was just purely ego driven, right? Like when, when I'm getting attacked, I get really defensive and I, I, I get obsessive, right? And that's where I was the last six months. And like, when I talk about obsessive, like I'm not talking about just ruminating thoughts. I'm talking like, like I wanted to understand. I started reading books on like crowd psychology, mob mentality, all sorts of, like I wanted to understand why this happened, what we could do to fix it, all these other things, like that's how obsessive I get. But I had this clarity, and it wasn't from, you know, getting back on medications, because I was taking those, it was this kind of spiritual clarity. Like for me, rather than getting off my medications, I've discussed this many times before, it's getting off of my my mental health journey track, right? Doing all the things I'm supposed to do, being the person I want to be, acting the way I, I want to act or, you know, need to act, you know, not only for myself, but to be an example for others. And I completely botched that for six months. And I've apologized to you guys, the audience, for a while. So I can definitely relate to Leafy Greens and what she went through. And I absolutely 1000% empathize with that. So towards the end of her video, she she apologizes to me and Leafy Greens, if you watch this, I'd love to comment on your video, like reach out, I'd love to talk in private. Um, but yeah, like I, I apologize as well. Like the stuff that went on between her and I turned into this massive thing and like it was completely the opposite of why any of us do this. Like I didn't hop on YouTube and make a, a mental health channel to have all this drama and divide this mental health community. You know what I mean? But anyways, uh, in Leafy Green's video, she, she discusses how she still stands by, you know, some things she said in her original videos about me and everything like that. She doesn't believe in it ethically and all that stuff. And that's totally fine. And like the way she said it too, I can see this, this change and growth in her that I'm, 
I'm trying to pursue myself, where it's kind of this awareness of we're not always gonna agree on things, right? So like, for example, right now I'm reading this excellent book, it's called Saving Normal, and it's written by the author, not the author, but he headed uh, the team that created DSM-4, right? And I'm really learning a lot about the divides within even the psychiatric community and everything like that, right? And what I try to think about is our overall goal is to help people, right? And we all have, we don't all have, but a lot of us have different ways that we're going about it. So, like Leafy Greens and I, or me and, you know, other people, we might not agree on the methods, right? So when I got into my obsessive kind of trying to learn about everything, and some of you know this, like, I really dove into moral psychology and moral philosophy. I wanted to learn more about ethics and everything like that. And I wanted to understand it. Now, my motives with it, if I'm just being completely honest, this is a pretty honest video, um, I wanted to learn more about it so I could prove people wrong, right? I wanted to make videos talking about the subjectivity, you know, because a lot of times when morality and ethics are brought up, a lot of it is presented as black and white, a lot of it is gray, you know what I mean? And instead, I'm just taking that in as my own personal knowledge. Um, I'll make content when I find it relevant uh, to mental health, but I'll, you know, I, I just realize that other people are gonna have different views, different opinions, and this thing isn't as black and white. And I think you know, the best thing all of us can do is just sit down and have conversations about it you know, and try to see both sides. Like this is something that I'm really, really trying to do, and I'm trying to figure out the best way to go about it because I I wouldn't be sitting here alive today if I wasn't open to criticism or suggestions. Like that's the only reason I'm alive today because I had to do that in my early sobriety. So I have some things that I'm working on and just I'll let you guys know about them soon. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty much gonna put myself through the ringer and find a bunch of people who tell me things that I might not necessarily like to hear. But you know, I wanna have conversations and just figure out how I can you know, make videos the best way I can, how to write, you know, my mental health blogs the best way I can, and, you know, be empathetic and try to see all sides of the situation and everything like that. So if Leafy Greens and I talk, you know, maybe we'll discuss, you know, these things, but, you know, just real quick, like, one of the ways that I've learned, I mentioned this in a video the other day, but one of the best ways that I've learned is learning from others, both mistakes and successes, right? Like when I was in 12-step programs, I learned from people's mistakes, like their relapses, as well as other people's successes, like their years of sobriety or months of sobriety, whatever it is, I learn from others, right? I'm like, how can I learn from this? So one of the reasons I started to kind of switch my channel was like, hey, here's an example of some context. Maybe you relate to this YouTuber, let's see what we can learn from them, right? And, you know, I, I never try to be malicious or hurt anybody, you know, in my content. Sometimes, you know, uh, that does happen, though, and I try to minimize that happening unless I'm just completely off my rocker, which I have been. And I've, uh, I've mentioned this before, too, and I talked about it in my book. I've reached out to any YouTuber who has been hurt or offended by anything I've ever done or said, you know, to try to have a conversation. Um, but, yeah, that's never my intention. All right, uh, but anyways, like I said, like uh, Leafy Greens and I might disagree on uh, certain ways that we tackle mental health subjects. Um, a great example is, you know, the the controversial diagnosis of borderline personality disorder. Uh, I love educating myself about that and seeing all the different angles and sides of it and everything, you know, and this is something that she's made some great videos about, you know, and that's one of the ways I educate myself more is by hearing other people who have been diagnosed and, you know, choose to not accept it or choose to uh, get another opinion and everything like that. I also read a lot of books on it and everything, but at the end of the day, we're all just trying to get on here. I think our main goal is to educate people and to help people. 
right? To educate people, help them understand what these mental health issues are like, you know, what's going on in the world, how to, and the other thing is to help, uh, to help, right? How to deal with it, how to cope with it, how to deal with uh, a loved one who has mental health issues, all these other things. So those are our two goals, at least those are my two goals, right? And I'm really trying to focus on those two things because the last six months, a lot of it was very self, uh, selfish, self-centered, egotistical, gearing my channel towards different things like, oh, you know, screw cancel culture and all that stuff. Like, that's not what my channel's about. My channel's about helping all of you guys, and I am trying to just connect dots and say, what's the best way to teach people these things? How do I combine education and entertainment? Because those are my favorite types of teachers, right? People who could teach me by taking situations that I can relate to. People who can teach me things by, um, you know, uh, being a little entertaining and slipping in some humor and, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And we all have different teaching styles. We all have different ways that we learn and everything like that. Like uh, some people, like for example, Dr. Todd Grande, very smart, well-educated man. You know, obviously, you know, not only is he more educated than me, but him and I have very different styles. Then you have somebody like Katie Morton, right? She has her own specific style, right? She's very bubbly and everything like that. That's her style. And there's a whole bunch of different people out there who are going to watch the content that resonates with them. But I do, you know, I do hope that we can all, you know, just come together and try to help people as, as much as possible. Um, but anyways, again, I appreciate Leafy Green's video. Um, and seeing and hearing about her awesome journey and Leafy Greens, if you're watching this, congratulations on your beautiful, beautiful little baby. Um, and yeah, hopefully we could talk in, uh, in private sometime. But anyways, everybody, uh, yeah, stay tuned. Even though I'm out of town, I will be obviously making some content and everything. But yeah, also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, stay tuned. I've been posting to my Instagram stories and tweeting and all that other stuff if you want to stay in touch. And you guys are always more than welcome to DM me if you have criticisms or you want to chat about something. Um, I've been answering a lot of my DMs lately. I just talked to a, uh, a social worker student the other day. We had a good conversation on Instagram and all that stuff. So feel free to DM me anytime. All right, but anyways, I've talked way, way, way too much. Have a great day. If you're new, make sure you subscribe, ring the notification bell, like this video, all that other stuff. I love you all so much. I'll see you next time.